What's up, everybody? It's Sheen Magazine here, and we're live and going up hip hop. Cast member Diamond's album release party for Pretty Bitch Music. Yes. So tell everybody about your new album. Bitch Music is a series that I started in 2007. It was the very first solo mix CD I had. After the first two, you know, uh, legendary albums, the Crime Op and the Hated On Mostly album, it really for me was just my transition to who I am today. I didn't even know. You know, and I see that a lot of things that's going on now with the hip hop culture for females, a lot of it is being repeated from what I, I, I you know, initially originally started. So I'm just thankful that just being able to be myself has been accepted for so long. Last year, we just recently celebrated the 15 year anniversary for Crime Mob, another few book, and I was super excited about it. Okay. To launch, um, actually sampled myself and Princess on her album and had us to come out performing her Met Gala, which was fun. Phenomenal. And I mean, it's just ever since then, everything has just been like unbelievable. Y'all performed on the Bottom Brother stage for the Sheen. For oh Sheen. my God, we did! Yes, we did. Yes, oh we my did. God, how could I forget Bronner Brothers? Yes. Sheen, on the Sheen stage, yes. that was our first time ever doing that. Yes. And you know, if anybody know anything about Atlanta and know how influential the, the hair culture is, whether it be male or female, like that is a really big thing, the Brunner Brothers concert, and to be able to perform on the Sheen stage, the fans to come take pictures, it was a great experience and I was just so happy about it. So with this album, how many tracks do you have? Do you have a favorite track? On this album, I have nine tracks. I don't really have a favorite yet. I'm, I'm curious to see what, you know, the world likes. I have one track in particular that I, I'm very vulnerable about. Like, okay. it was something that I recorded in 2013 about some things that had happened okay. in my past that kind of displayed publicly, you know, to the world. And I never really okay. spoke on it. Okay. So it was kind of like some things from my diary. It was like this, 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 this music was like Diamond's Diary from old and from new. Okay. You know, you still have the double unapologetic rhyme for Diamond, but you, I'm a, a woman now, I have a son now, you know. So it's levels to it. You can definitely see my growth in my music. So I'm just really excited about it. Okay. And now you have been added to the cast of Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta. Yeah. So how do you feel about coming back to reality TV? OMG. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was nervous about coming back initially to reality television. You know, the TV shows that I did before were out of state. You know, I'm yeah. a mom now. And, you know, my first priority is my son. I want to be able to go to work and be able to come home and not have to really worry about being out of state. I already travel on the weekends. Yeah. Well, at least before COVID, you know. So I'm thankful for it because I really feel like these people really get a chance to see the realness of what's going on in our life. It's not scripted. It's real life. It's real TV. And a lot of TV is real scripted.